everyone, this is Take from BigHeadTalker.com and I am here in... Today I am doing a quick vlogging test with the Canon G5X, but I don't know which one will make the video and so this I'm doing another one. I've been busy running around uh, grabbing uh, camera equipment from different... Uh, here, let me just grab it here for you. So, so I'm here to drop this off. And I am just putting the finishing touches on my review of the G5X and then I'm planning to figure out which next camera I should review from Canon. So either G, the new G7X Mark II or perhaps, um, I don't know, the how about the EOS, the 80D? Everyone's been talking about how great it is. I think Casey Neistat uses that as his main vlogging camera. So uh, let's just see. I have the, uh, of course, the articulating screen, which is off to the sides here. I'm wearing my shades here, so I'm looking at the articulating screen, and then I'm looking at the lens here. But I still like the shades because, um, I don't know. So I'm getting ready to leave here. Um, let's just see how this sounds um, outside. You'll see how this camera changes, um, the, how well the audio handles the change from inside, um, inside a car versus outside. And again, I flip back, the, maybe I should flip the screen back now. Here we go. So flip the screen forward and um, let's see how well this can handle that whole vlogging style running in and out of my car. I'm gonna have to put this camera down for a second. Just give me a second on top of the car here. It's gonna fall. No. And see how well it follows. Oh, I'm also doing a test still of the um, the BitPlay Snap Pro case. And right now I have the um, I have the uh, polarizing lens on here. It's nice that you can put a cap on it so you can still leave it on the camera. So I'm still reviewing that. And I am off to meet someone for a quick meeting. Dropping off, whoops, dropping off the Leica and then do a final test on the uh, G5X and then ship it. Do a final test, is that honk for me? I'll do a final test on the G5X and then uh, ship it back to Canon and then let's uh, see what should be my next camera. So I'm gonna stop this now. So I am uh, waiting for my matcha mocha here at uh, Basho in uh, East Vancouver. Pretty popular place for Japanese treats, uh, light lunch and the barista here is amazing. He does uh, the best matcha latte in town. But anyways, uh, this is the continuation of my vlog test using the Canon 5 uh, G5X. And as you can see, this is Hastings. This is the major road. So let's see how well this can handle the ambient noise. I have that wind or noise suppression control on. So it might sort of pixelate or digitize the audio. So let's just see how it handles um, sort of ambient noise. I do wish it had a ability to attach on an external, uh, external audio instead of uh, using the built-in stereo microphones, which is fine in a quiet uh, area with not too much ambient noise, but in an environment like this, I don't think it does a great job. So. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, as well, the articulating screen off the side, I prefer it because it leaves the hot shoe open so you can attach on a uh, LED light. Something like, something like this. So I like using these LED lights. They're great for fill and they're bright enough so that if you are vlogging and there's too many shadows, you can just put this on top. Yeah, actually, let's just do it now. I'm gonna put it on top and Top, and we turn it on and can you see the brightness that it's on me right now like that so that's a pretty good tool to use so I like that's one of the reasons why I like the uh, G5X over the G7X it does not have a hot shoe on top and as well if it had an external microphone input you can even put a shotgun microphone on top so anyway. all right I just finished my meeting with my friend Lawrence say hello to the audience Lawrence hello. <laughs> So Lawrence, so of all, so whenever I say I'm, I'm borrowing a lens from a local photographer, a Leica lens, um, 80 to 90 percent of the time is Lawrence. Am I right? Yes. I borrow, I borrow your 28 Summicron. I borrowed your 35 Lux. You have a Lux. You have 35 Lux. You've loaned me your Leica T. 
which is technically your wife's tea. Yep. Right? And so Lawrence is the main guy that our bar up. So thank you, Lawrence. And, and so we just had a meeting here again at Basho on East Hastings. So I'm finishing my meeting. Again, this is just a test of the G5X as a vlogging camera. Lots of ambient noise behind us. We'll see how it handles the ambient and how well it handles the uh, autofocus. Is your eyes like naturally drawn to the screen? I sometimes do want to look at the screen, right? But we know we're here. Where I'm gonna flip it back. There you go. So we don't see it now. So now we're just looking at the lens. So uh, anyways, meeting done. Lawrence, thank yep. you. Thank you. And thank then, you for uh, your help. Oh, no problem. My pleasure. And all right, I just finished my meeting. Um, I don't know how well this is tracking. It looks like it's struggling to, to maintain focus here because I'm backlit and I'm moving. So I think now it's found focus and it should be image stabilizing and stuff right now. Um, I'm gonna probably finish off by shooting a, uh, a review. I have to give this camera back to, uh, to Canon soon. So I'm um, gonna just do a last minute shootout and then let's just see how this camera works out. So anyways, I think so far so good. I like the size and the weight of this camera as a vlogging camera. I think it's fantastic. If only it had um, a microphone input, I think this would be like the perfect, perfect vlogging camera. So anyways, let's, uh, let's keep on going.